everybody. We're back. Been told by our producer, this is sad. The pig has already left the building. <laughs> the minute he was cut, he was like, I'm out of here. But we're sending a camera crew after him to see if we can find him before they, he heads down <coughs> Fifth Avenue. I don't know where he's going. He wants to check out the tree outside. My next guest is a very funny comedian whose new CD, The Absurd Nightclub Comedy of Eugene Merman, is in stores now. Please welcome Eugene Merman. <laughs> I, uh, I just saw Teen Wolf on TV, and uh, it's basically about uh, somebody who had the same problems we did as teenagers, but also with wolf problems. And uh, my favorite part is there's a scene where Michael J. Fox is talking to his stylish friend Styles, and he's about to tell him that he is a wolf, and they're in Michael J. Fox's garage, and Styles goes, Dude, you're not going to tell me you're a homo. And Michael J. Fox goes, no, 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 don't worry, I'm a wolf. <laughs> Michael J. Fox is like, oh, no, 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 I'm not gay. I'm a magical creature that eats babies. <laughs> so, uh, you know um, how sometimes when people sneeze, you can say, uh, you know, gesundheit or bless you. But when people cough, there's nothing that you can really say. And so I have a thing that I say when people cough. I'll go, uh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Like that, very polite. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, I was in Seattle, and uh, there's a lot of crazy people on the streets in Seattle. There's a lot of crazy people on the streets here in New York. But in Seattle, people, they don't have a goal. They'll just come up to you and be like, I got beans in my pockets. <laughs> and they'll be like, I'm sorry. And they'll be like, I want to ride in my wagon. And there's no thing that you can say to clarify anything. But at least here, when crazy people come up to you, they're just like, I need a magic wand. <laughs> And you're like, will this do? And they're like, thanks. And it's that closure that I so appreciate from New York crazies. So um, there's a lot of ads for like, uh, you know, milk and cheese and pork and just things in general. And I think it's kind of great. And I've made ads for something that I really want to sell, which is shapes. And uh, so I wanted to show you some of my ads for shapes. This is an ad for a circle. Now that's a shape. I'm going to sell a lot of circles. This is an ad for a square. Square, the other rectangle. <laughs> this is an ad for a triangle. Hot, three-way action. <laughs> so when, uh, when I was in high school, it was never really that big of a deal for me to uh, lose my virginity. And in fact, I actually kind of lost it by accident, where uh, I was just fixing something on the roof of my house, and I fell into my neighbor's vagina. <laughs> I, I used to temp at Fidelity with the, uh, they sell the money, and uh, I used to answer their phones, but I'd answer them in my movie phone voice. So I'd be like, welcome to Fidelity. This is Eugene Merman. How can I help you? And I heard this woman go, oh, another machine. <laughs> and I went, I am not a machine. <laughs> and she was like, oh, man, robots are alive. <laughs> so... Once, uh, once after a show, I was in a bathroom, and I was tying my shoe, and this guy comes in, and he's like, so, what are you up to? And I'm just like, I'm just tying my shoe. If you need to pee, I can move. And he's like, you want to get a beer? And I'm like, I guess, maybe, once I'm out of the bathroom. And he's like, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. And I'm like, I know, I am also in the bathroom. And then finally, I turned around, and uh, he's on a cell phone. He wasn't talking to me at all, and I was just like, ah, I want to get him here. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good night, America. And happy holidays. Good job. Stay here. Right here. Eugene Merman, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. Sure. Do you want to thank my guest, Eugene Merman? Thank you very thanks much, so sir. Much. Very funny stuff. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Our thanks to Keenan Thompson for joining us. You're a good man, Keenan. Our thanks to Clyde Peeling and his uh, attacking uh, owl for being on the show. No sign of a pig still, huh? They never found the pig. He's gone. He's in a limo. So oh, there he is. Yay! <laughs> He's in the basement. <laughs> That's it. Being molested by a stranger. That's nice. 
Rub that oil in there. All right, stay tuned for uh, Last Call with Carson Daly. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>